Welcome back to the remastered Mega Man Zero No Damage Run. Into the sands we go, for the first time. Because this desert literally takes up 25% of this run's videos. Ain't that fun? Well, technically only two take you through it in full, but uh, whatever. This is another one of those straightforward stages, albeit on the slow side.
God damn it, CL. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes, okay? But come on. It's better than getting hit by a flopper's explosion for like the thousandth time, so I'm just fortunate that wasn't the recurrence. I'm actually very surprised that I didn't get a single failed attempt after finishing off Anubis, because it's really easy to mistime certain skull crushes that follow a preemptive dash upon the sand snakes. Those are what I expected to get at least one or two fails on, and I even had a stupid joke prepared for it. Ah well. Despite the stage's length, I'd say this was more of a breath of fresh air, taking sand traps out of the freaking equation when I wasn't being chomped on. It all hinged on being able to commit to the movement execution and just making sure enemy placement didn't lapse at the memorization. This gave a great introduction in what you'd expect out of the likes of enemy pogos and the like for it's a recurrence that I'm sure you'll enjoy. I guess since I don't necessarily have any problem spots to talk about other than the obvious, this would be the perfect time to explain how global cycles work. In the Zero games, especially Zero One, most enemies like Pantheons can walk around and such off screen, way before you even reach them. It's not just enemies either. Moving platforms and the like are also active before you reach them. As such, if your pace is inconsistent with each retry of the stage, you'll notice that some pantheons may be positioned slightly off to the point where memorization doesn't quite add up. That's because the little punks are jogging back and forth off screen. The same can be said for floppers since they hover on a vertical cycle, so you can almost never expect them to be in the exact same position by the time you reach them. That's why consistent and calculated movement is paramount. And I can hear the angry keys typing already. No, you don't need to be a speedrunner to take advantage of this. Key word you have to peg is consistency. So that means if you're naturally a slow paced and controlled player, you simply need to keep it that way if you don't want global cycles to throw you off. It's better that I explained all of this now because oh, oh boy, when we get to duel in the desert mission, I have way more important BS to focus on breaking down. And part of the frustrations there deal with global cycles. As for Anubis, he's... He's one of the rare cases of a very pattern-based boss. The only random thing about him is the number of pillars he'd surface to smash you. Well, let me rephrase that. He's super vulnerable to manipulation to the point where other RNG factors simply don't matter. Once you hit him enough times, he'll fall into the sand and rinse and repeat the same pattern you've seen in this video. One thing to note about him is that you have to stay on the far left during the pillar phase. Why? Because he appears on the opposite side of your position. The triple rod poke from the ground can only be done from the left side, so you need to be over there when he swaps to that side. Beside that, the guy is one of the easiest bosses in the game. There's not much left to say other than what's already been laid out. I think this ranking here should tell you everything else you need to know. But of course, if something's confusing you that isn't straightforward enough, inquire about it in the comments section below. Next up, we're visiting the factory for the first time, because screw coming back to the desert two times in a row, even though I was literally forced to do that a bit later into the run. The factory is yet another good showcase for the triple rod viability, and it was also a really fun stage to record. Funny, considering a certain section in it is infamous as hell, but uh, let's save that until then. For now though, I'm out. Take it easy, y'all.